last chance to run away. Welcome back to the Sub Twister channel, and if you are new, simply welcome to the Sub Twister channel. So, I will be starting to do episodes giving you guys a little peek or tips of the tools that I use with my main character and have been using for quite some time or things that I have learned. So, get ready to throw down. So Ayane does have the ability to punish wake up kicks from a distance and this is where I want to start my commentary because this is so important this is where people struggle. Let's get that hard knockdown. So look I step in and then I just get the right range to low throw. It's really quick so let's do it in real time. Step in, get that right range to get the low throw. Same thing with the mid kick. Step in, just whiffs and gets the mid punch. This takes a lot of practice, a lot of time, but you got to put the time and the effort to get this down. Okay, same thing here. Let's do it in slow motion. Just misses, and we get her jumping throw there. All right, do it in real time. Again, this just takes a lot of practice and timing. Okay, so now let's try to do this with attacks. So we're gonna just miss the mid kick and do back HK pretty cool let's do it in real time you see how weird that looks it's like it just misses and then we can also do that with her back turn for HK which is a wonderful stun if they don't hold that's a damage right there she can also get it with her 3 HK so it just takes practice and then the close hit we can also get that move at a distance but we won't get the close hit and then also I want to capitalize on the fact that her break blow is amazing it can whiff punish so that's pretty cool you can use alright so let's try to do this with strings it does work if they don't hold that second punch and they decide they don't want to hold cool but what if they do decide to hold you have to be cautious of that and understand yes people are going to break hold and hold so let's try this again Oh, break hold real quick. Some people do it quickly, some people don't. You have to know the opponent's timing. So let's the step in with the move. We're doing these in real time. At this point, I hope you guys understand the timing. Now let's screw up here for a second. See how I messed that up? I stepped in too quickly. People are going to make this mistake. So try to delay how you come in for timing wise and then go for the kick. So again, oh, I messed up. Okay, let's try it again. See how I delayed it a little bit more this time? So now we're going to do punishing special wake ups, which many characters in the game have from different viewpoints. And Ayane's back turn overhead cancel will be gone over here. So let's start with Kasumi. Bait it out with the 6P. Flip over. Hers is on her stomach. Me kick her in face. Has the very same one. So for reuse, I wouldn't suggest flipping over. I would just say bait it out. You can honestly see him getting up like that that's one of the most obvious special wake ups and easiest to punish so Jan Lee you can either bait it and mid kick hold it I get this a lot on Jan Lee's that try to do this to me or you can flip over and get a nice little punish there I did it in slow motion for you guys so you can see okay so what happens if a special wake up 
is a throw. A lot of these go through attack, so you have to be careful. <laughs> okay, so let's do Tina's. Boom, and you're going to see that you get a high counter throw because it's an OH, which is I call a catch throw, goes through move. Same thing for Lisa, high counter throw. Hers is way crazier because, like, I get the back turn standing one. It's just, ugh. Or I can jump over. If you see somebody doing this a lot and you can predict this, this is fine. Otherwise, you have to get used to mixing it up, y'all, from the regular wake up punishes to the special wake ups. You have to know what you're doing and who you're fighting and look at the patterns. When you have Mila and Bass, I suggest you just use her back uh, step a lot. So. There you go. It's better to get that low grab back turn damage than anything else. I'll tell you that. Lei Fang, I would just bait it until they get the shoulder. You block it and punish. The easiest way to do it. Elliot is one of those characters that have a really crazy one because he turns the camera. You can get over, but you gotta predict it. I suggest mid punch holding otherwise because it's a guard break. So here, you see I stepped away from Bass. This is actual fight. I can. Just low punish and jump over. So you see the different ways I'm doing this show. You gotta use your head and think about who you're fighting. It's not easy, but it takes experience and practice. I baited Ayane's. I suggest you also either block or hold hers to get the damage punishment, which is just grab punishment. And then Helena's can have hers go right in the bulk of hoe. Hayate's phase fours are mid kicks. Um, that push forward. Kokoro's is also a mid punch off her stomach that gets her up. Itomi's is a kip up from her back on the ground. And then Brad Wong is just a stance that we're going to cover stances later. How to handle them with Ayane in detail. So let's go over Ayane's cancel here. You see I did one roll into the kick. And I did it off of a canceled combo. So that's where it definitely works best I'll tell you that because people say oh you dropped it so let me take advantage here watch this and you see me use this setup a lot and it works off that bound setup and I do back HK from her back turn all right so let's try this on Lisa Lisa's special wake up kick on her back is very very slow look at that so you can just get that or as long as what I mean you can jump over and just do all types of stuff so projectile punishment, very cool for Ayane because she's one of few characters that can actually do this to Mai or, you know, Raido has a projectile himself that can be countered, but she's not really going under that. Mai is the only one with the fan that I would say she can get different punishes here. As you see, the row uh, P plus K, she can also get the HK, but you got to really get there with the HK because she'll miss it. Whereas the P plus K and the grab does damage. And as you saw, the break blow goes through the fan and can reach her at a certain range. So that's really cool that I found out. So the hop over counter throw. Ayane can hit you, stun you, and if you hold, she gets a high counter throw. And I also did this in a fight where the person tried to whiff punish me here. And I jumped over and caught their whiff. So that was really cool. Same here. Stun. Flip over. I'm just showing you the fights I've done. I'm going to show you it again. Oh, nice maneuver. Late punish. Bam. Really cool stuff, y'all. So pretty quick first episode, but a lot of information. So I really do hope this helped you guys. And I'm going to be doing more of these. Because I know a lot of you have questions on how I do things so Diane. So here you go. Let's keep Rocking, moving, spinning, and twisting, and twirling.